so here I am on top of my uh, apartment building and I've got something to talk about um, this is going to be a um, notice about a charity of sorts um, it's not an official charity for reasons I shall explain and all transactions for it are done under the table for reasons I shall explain so if the only charities you're interested are in giving to are those that you can count as a tax write-off well might as well stop listening now and just go on with your day if that doesn't bother you well here goes See. Every year for, I don't know how long, but my dad has been uh, bringing some goods such as uh, sweaters, bars of soap, toothbrushes, toothpaste, and things like that um, to battered maids in some of the embassies here because as much as Kuwait has been trying to uh, progress in regards for uh, human development and things like that they still treat uh, the third world labor very very poorly so a lot of the maids end up running away from their employers and seeking refuge in their embassies and because the way employment works here is that once you're employed, your employer owns you pretty much. They hold your documents, they hold your passports. You cannot leave the country without their permission. These maids that are seeking refuge are pretty much stuck. If they leave the country and are caught, there are some serious repercussions. So they're pretty much confined to the embassy until such a time as they can be smuggled out and sent back home. Uh, last year, I actually took part in Dad's uh, distribution effort, and the embassy that they were in was not even half an acre, probably a little more than a quarter of an acre. Uh, three building, com well, three um, floor complex, including the basement, but all the maids taking shelter there were required to only take up the basement because obviously it's an embassy they need all the rest of it for office space and when the night was done uh, we had a head count of three four hundred maids down there so obviously living conditions are not gr optimal by any means they're restricted to basically the clothes that they ran out on they have almost nothing to their name and all they have is whatever their embassy can afford for them or whatever is donated so so every year like I was saying my dad uh, get, gathers whatever funds he can and uses whatever contacts he can to get as good a deal on sweaters and toiletries and things like that so he can try to give them whatever they might need to try to make their basically imprisonment in their own embassies a little more bearable so yeah I know Asking for charities around this time is basically shouting in the wind. Every person out there wants your money. You got the corporations wanting you to buy shit, which you actually get something in return for your money. You've got other um, charities out there that go to kids or animals or whatever. And I understand that everyone pretty much has every reason in the world to give to other charities because you guys aren't over here you, you nothing over here actually affects your life so why should you care and honestly I can't answer that that's something you'll have to answer for yourself but if you do care obviously 
that's something. Um, even if you can't give, but you still care, you could relay this information onto someone else, uh, give them the link and whatnot, let them donate for themselves. I will be setting up a donation meter of some sort t so people can actually uh, see how much anyone else has donated in case you know you care. Um, when we moved to Pro Boards, uh, the rest of the staff and I had agreed that um, for our ad revenue, a lot of it would go, well, we had tried to do um, contests, but nothing so far has panned out. But out of what we had left at the end of the year, we would donate to some sort of charity, and it was agreed that this would be the first charity we give to, so some of the ad revenue is going to go toward that. But even then, it's not going to add much. So this is why I'm asking for donations, because we really, well, we really need to be able to help them as much as we can. And there's no telling how much there's going to be, because even while we were like, handing out stuff last year, there were like, I don't know, at least eight more people that came in while we were doing it. So, obviously the need is very great, but again, I don't expect very many people to, well, let alone be able to give. I understand a lot of people in Twilight Sucks are not having access to credit cards and things like that, or are on a budget, or our lives are kind of shit right now, too, but... If you can, great, give what you can. Um, to uh, set kind of an example of what can be bought for what amount, I think what my dad said was that they could manage to get sweaters for about uh, one to two KD a piece, which equates to about $3.60 to seven twenty or something like that. I forget the exchange rate, but... So, there you go. Uh, every $7 buys one of these battered maids a sweater. So... Yeah, I obviously suck at doing these... Well, doing this sort of charity drive thing, I'm very uncomfortable asking for money, especially when it's all under the table. There is almost zero accountability. Uh, then, of course, I will be having a donation meter so y'all can track what's going on. If I receive any funds at all, um, I will post a follow-up video in which I give numbers like uh, we gave out X amount of sweaters, we gave X amount of whatever, and we had uh, X number of maids in refuge that were given to this year. So that way y'all who give can know that well, how many people's lives were touched by your generosity. Um, I guess this is the part where I kind of give other possible incentives in case, you know, uh, helping out someone in dire need isn't enough. Um, let's say, if by some miracle I, I this video actually inspires someone to give, and let's say the donation meter reaches 50 bucks. I, I receive a maximum of 50 bucks. I will, during my breaks between semesters, go ahead and begin abridging New Moon. I will actually sit down, force myself chapter through chapter to get it done. For the first 50, I will post the, the prologue. Um, if we manage to get double that and we get 100, um, I'll go ahead and cram into chapter one. Uh, well, after that, because I'll be crammed for time to do other things too during break, uh, I'll need to start increasing the margins. Say, um, we get 200 bucks, I'll post the epilogue chapter, well, the prologue chapter one and chapter two. Um, 300 bucks, 
you get uh, three chapters in the prologue, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like every two tiers, we uh, double the barrier. So let's see, prologue, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. So at chapter four, you'd increase the margin, well, double the margins. So yeah. Um, if any individual actually <laughs> uh, donates 50 bucks, I'll, I'd say, dude, you earned it. You can choose whatever the fuck video you want me to make. Obviously, I can't uh, use Amnesty on the board from being a dick or whatever as an incentive, because that's just not mine alone to offer, and I can't offer, like, mod powers or anything like that, but uh, anything like you want me to um, post X, like a video talking about X, Y, or Z, by all means, if you want uh, to re me to join you for a Skype conversation for a while, can do that too. Um, if you want me to um, do a a cooperative project with you or something like that, I'll do that. So yeah, 50 bucks and, well, within obvious reasons, I'm not going to do anything illegal or self-harmful, but, and I'm not going to sit down and grit my teeth and force myself to praise Twilight, obviously, but if you have some sort of video project you want me to do that is within my skill set, which is pretty much just literary analysis. Um, if you do an individual donations of, well, donation of 50 bucks, name it. So yes, I am whoring myself out in order to see that some people that y'all will never ever meet, because in the follow-up video, I, well, I'll finish what I was saying. Like, y'all will never ever meet, uh, just so they can have at least something good happen to them for possibly the first time since they actually came to Kuwait. But yeah. I forgot what I was going to say, so, yeah. So, yeah. That's what's going on. That's how it is. 50 bucks, 50 bucks. Uh, a total of 50 bucks, 50 bucks for each prologue and first chapter of New Moon Abridged. 100 bucks after that for chapter 2. 100 bucks after that for chapter 3. Double that for 4 and 5. Etc. Etc. Individual um, donations of uh, 50 bucks, and I will take on whatever project you want. Obviously, it'll need to be a one shot, but unless you like donate 100 bucks, then it can be a two-parter and so on and so forth. So yeah, that's what's up, YouTube and Tumblr and Twilight Sucks community. I'm going to be participating in this charity, whether y'all decide to give or not. But I would like to think that I inspired someone out there to do something for someone that can't ever do for you. I obviously that kind of sounds egotistical and yeah, but really? I can't express how much these people actually need this stuff. And the, the only people actually doing anything for this is my dad, myself, my stepmom, and a few of my dad's contacts here. So obviously the need is great and we don't have access to very much in the way of funds, which is the most important part in all of this, obviously. So, yeah. 
So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I've said all that really can be said. I can't say which embassy we're going to be helping out until it happens in case someone catches, uh, someone here locally catches wind of this because there could be some uh, repercussions. After all, these people are taking refuge from Kuwaitis in Kuwait and anyone caught helping them is kind of being subversive and they don't take kindly to that here. So, yeah. But in my follow up video, I'll be able to, um, like I said, uh, give numbers of how many people were there, how much we were able to give, and even say which nation it was that we helped out this time. Last year it was Sri Lanka. It, it, well, it might be again, won't know until day of. Especially since the person Dad had contact with at the time is no longer here. So, yeah, give what you can. If you like, whether you give or not, if you want to pass on the word to someone who can give, by all means, go for it. If you can't give and want to say a prayer to whatever deity you worship or send a good thought their way or whatever it is that your personal beliefs bring you to do can't hurt so go for it but yeah so yeah I've rambled on enough and um, if anyone donates at all I will be giving more details about how things went adios